Well, everybody likes to think that there's some sort of magic in calling turkeys. And the only magic is in <laughs> knowing when to call and when not to. Um, it's, it's really pretty basic. You know, you can learn a lot just by listening to turkeys on videotapes or listening to them in the woods and then talking with your turkey call the way you hear those turkeys talking naturally. It's just like with people. If, if somebody comes at you and they're talking way too loud or they're really slow or they're talking way too fast, and it doesn't make any sense and it sounds funny. It's exactly the same with turkeys. It's a lot more about the rhythm and the cadence than it is the actual tone of the call because, you know, you have some people that sound like Pee Wee Herman and you have some people that sound like you know Andre the Giant it doesn't matter you still understand what they're saying and you don't necessarily think well that's not a human that's somebody trying to sound like a human it's the same with turkeys if you sound like a turkey with the rhythm and the cadence you can get away with a lot it's not the tonal quality can certainly help you sound more realistic but that's not the important part the important part is getting the rhythm and the cadence right um, you only need a couple of calls to kill a turkey, and, and by calls I mean sounds, not the actual physical calls themselves, but um, if you can cluck and you can yelp, you can kill them. And it's really easy. The, and if you've never called turkeys before, this is the best way, in my opinion, to start with a slate call. Um, and when you say slate, it really means this style of call, because this surface is not slate. This is a crystal, which is just a hard type of glass. But it's this, you know, pot and peg, some people call them, but I call it a slate call, and sometimes it's a glass slate call. It's just referring to the surface, not necessarily the style, but... It's really simple. I mean, you just hold it like you do a pencil. If you want to make a cluck, you're just going to put it on there at about a 45 degree angle. I use the flare tip uh, striker because it doesn't make the angle quite so important. It's going to make a sound pretty much any way that you do it. And really all you do is it's just one straight line to make that clock. So your basic cluck is one straight line. And then if you listen to the videotape, you know, a turkey doesn't cluck like this. It, it doesn't do that. It has a little bit of rhythm to it. And you, you'll notice that I can kind of make a little bit of inflection in the sound. All I'm doing is, is pressing a little harder or, or pulling across it a little bit faster. And really, I can't tell you how to do it. You just got to put the call in your hand and practice with it. But, you know, if you just sit there and cluck a little bit, you're, you're definitely going to call in a turkey because that's what he hears all the time. That's what turkeys sound like. The next call that is really important is the yelp, and that's another pretty simple call to make. It's just a little egg-shaped circle. Now I call a little bit different than people. I guess it's because I'm left-handed and that makes you naturally weird, but I move my striker hand and not, or my call hand and not the actual striker. It works. It might look a little different to you. You really should move the striker, but so if you see me move my hand, it's just I have a different way of doing it, but I'll try not to do it, but if you see it, it doesn't mean you have to do it that way. So you're just making a little a little circle up near the top edge of the call. If you get down in the middle, it gets a little, it, it kind of loses the tone. It's made to sound a little bit higher pitched up near the edge. It's just a circle. I mean, that's a yelp right there. But again, it's not, it's the rhythm and the cadence that makes those turkeys respond. So you can yelp. That's a yelp, but it's not, a, it, I mean, that's not a turkey. A peacock or emu or something, it's not a turkey. So you got to put a little bit of the right speed to it. And again, it's just practice. I can't, I can't show you other than the basic movement. you got to get it in your hand and feel how fast, how much pressure and the angle that you put on the call. And it really is simple once you get to doing it. And generally, again, listen to the turkeys in the woods, listen to them on tape. They usually are yelping in, in series of three, then two, then three. That's a very general, you know, statement because they don't always do that. You know, that is a turkey rhythm. You can't learn that unless you sit there and listen to the turkeys and practice it. The, you know, videotapes are, you know, great. It's always fun to see people kill turkeys, but it's really educational too to hear 
not only the way that they call, but actual the live turkeys themselves are the best educator. And there's a lot of good audio tapes, and um, the National Wild Turkey Federation's website has really good uh, audio clips too that are just great teaching tools. So if you just learn to cluck, cluck a little bit, and then working deer yelps, that's all you need to kill a turkey. It's really that simple. If I can do it, anybody can. Yeah, no.